Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play some more Dreadnought. Now, this week, well, this week, sorry, what was this week, this episode, um, I'm torn between either playing the Artillery Cruiser, the Dreadnought, or the uh, Destroyer. I'm going to leave my thing unpicked here so that I can sort of signal to my teammates what I might do. I think I won't play this. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe I'll play a Trafalgar. We could use a healer, but I don't want to play a healer this week. This week, this episode, God damn it! What is up with my brain? Um, maybe we will play the healer. Uh, I guess I have to, since nobody on my team is uh, is volunteering for another position. I'll play healer. Well, I guess I had planned to play a different thing, but I guess we're playing healer again. Lock in here. Well, he's playing healer too now, so now that makes me want to switch to. Oh, uh, he switched last last second too. Well. See, that's why you gotta lock in and just stay locked in. If you keep switching and flipping around, it uh, you'll end up with no healers on your team. I mean, I guess no healers isn't the end of the world. They have two. Okay, so this is an onslaught map. So I'm gonna want to uh, get in position to do some serious damage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my way over here because this is gonna be the position that I can attack their command ship from. Uh, which is what I want to be doing because I want to be doing lots of damage to it. I want to deactivate this because I want to have a. You always want to have a little bit of shield, a uh, little bit of energy to shield. So we're not too far away now. We got their command ship. Oh, uh, looks like our two corvettes took out their command ship. Well, I guess that means I'm less useful to this game. I suppose it means I can do other things. Full power to maneuvering thrusters. Uh, like flank. I'm a flanking destroyer. I mean, that works, I guess. I'm working with this Corvette to take out this guy. I should be able to dump a bunch of torpedo missiles. Uh, just a bunch of missiles in general. So if I just dump all of my damage into them. And then similarly start to dump into this guy. I need to get out of here because they're going to start hitting me. So I need to zoom in here. Excellent, so we helped kill that guy. I want to shoot this sniper so that he doesn't feel safe. Not really trying to do much other than make him feel a little scared. Not really much I can do from this position. We have 65 energy, I think. Which is, uh, if we get hit by a drain torpedo, that's all of our energy dead. We need to deal with this guy. I started getting hits on him first, I think. So I should have an advantage to getting the kill here. Thanks. I drop a torpedo salvo on him. Incoming, he no, won't be able to shield as much as me, which is an advantage for me. If I time my shielding for when his missiles hit, do a module reboot, dump all of my missiles into him. Complete, okay, I've dumped all of my missiles. Now I can get out of here. I want to play safe here. Get some hits on these guys. Drop some flak. Uh, kill these fighters for some extra points. Repair or reload my. I'm sorry. Um, so we've got to kill. We're doing okay, I think, at this point. We are about to lose our command ship, but that's not a huge deal. We're 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 firing in excess of points here. I think it's probably a good idea to drop some shots on these guys. Get some kills, some points. Because they do, they do add up. Um, it is a really, it is a really effective way to get ahead in the onslaught game mode. Now, the the really nice thing about the destroyer is they have a very, very consistent and accurate weapon. Like it, it, it can fire for a very long time before it needs to reload, um, which is one of its main draw points. I want to dodge here, doing some serious damage to him. Shields up, torpedo, protein auto guns. Taking hits. Got him. He should die now. Drop off my missiles before I die. I'd say that was a fairly effective life. Maybe I played kind of poorly. But but you notice how I, I tried to minimize how many enemy ships could shoot at me at once. I mean, I did get into a bad position in the end. 
and uh, even in my dying breath I managed to get I the most the most important thing is to just try to be efficient with your lives and your um and your your play for example I will I, I I as I was dying I fired off my missiles just to get a little bit of damage in it, it was just um it's all about playing efficiently playing carefully uh being in position for um for responding to enemy action so I may as well kill this like it's right here no there's no reason not to I think you do get points for killing these like if I I don't think you get points for killing fighters but I get points in general is for killing fighters so it's worth it you know just kill some fighters while you're flying around dude you get fighter kill points lets you farm up a little bit of money I don't know if this is actually helping my team fire off these uh, torpedoes usually you don't want to fire torpedoes at um, corvettes that was kind of a mistake on my part but I am getting a few hits off on them I should in theory nice all right we got the kill I only got I got a got the final blow Managed to lead him quite a bit here. So we kill these fighters over there. There's no reason not to shoot at them if you have the um, if you have the time. Okay, we got some assault ship kills. We're just farming kills on these assault ships. Start hitting this guy while he's not paying attention. Tempest missiles. Oh, he's in a bad place. I'm going to activate weapon boost. Got him. Nice. Turn off weapon boost. Reload. Looks like a bad guy's behind me. I'm going to start hitting him. Dump torpedoes at him. Activate weapon boost. Reload all weapons. Fire torpedoes. Fire missiles we should get a kill here should be a kill nice we did reload duck down shields up weapons online protein auto guns close range right we got him nice very important that you play safe play carefully we were very aggressive there and we managed to survive kill this guy get him out of my way okay i'm gonna hide out here to heal up I don't want to get shot by this guy. He sh he'll reset my healing. Yeah, you have like regenerating health. So sometimes in order to just like recover from a fight, all you got to do is dip out of uh, vision range of the enemy and you'll start to heal up. You won't recover health while you're being shot though, so you have to be careful on that front. All right, here we go. I'm going to torpedo the shit out of this guy around this corner. Activate weapon boost. I can't even see him through my own ship. But I am hitting him. Nice. All right. Turn off weapon boost. No. Turn off. Reload my guns. Enemy ship over there. Start dumping damage onto him. He's not paying attention. They warped in another command ship somewhere. Start hitting him. I'll fire my missiles. Oh, this guy's my ally. Watch out. I don't want to let this guy get three hits on my friend. I want to discourage him. Fire off flak. See if I can't get him to get out of here. It's important to cover your friendly corvettes. All right, this guy is way out of position, so I'm gonna activate weapon damage. No, I'm gonna turn that off. So it's inefficient to use weapon uh, boosts against uh, against shields. So I'm gonna main, mainly wait for his shield to run out. Activate protein auto guns, and then we win. Nice. Whew. Talking a mile a minute here, trying to explain what's going on. I think we did pretty good there. I don't know if we came first. We probably came like top two. Yeah, it looks like we came. Came second in our team in terms of score and effectiveness. Just by doing a little bit of farming, you know. We got 1,403 base uh, base income and stuff like that, you know. Just getting lots of score, being effective. Like, we only got five kills that game. We got five kills, six assists. But because we were farming correctly, killing enemy units, we, we managed to get a lot out of it. But uh, that's going to be it for... Uh, at least the first half. I think I think I'll try and pull in two games per per episode. So we'll be back in a moment. Well, actually, maybe it's worth it to have a little look. Can we do any upgrades to our Trafalgar? Let's have a look. Um, I could show off the Goliath torpedo. Maybe do I have enough for that? I'll unlock the Tempest missiles, and then maybe I'll spend a bit of free 
experience to pick up the Goliath torpedo because that's a really cool thing. Actually, yeah, I can just straight up pick it up. Do I have the money though? Is the question. I do have a little bit of cash I can turn into money, and I don't mind doing that. So the Goliath torpedo is only 2,000 gold. It's basically a nuclear missile, and uh, I want to show that off. Now, generally speaking, it works better in conjunction with the drain torpedo. You fire the drain torpedo, and then the Goliath torpedo, the drain torpedo drains all their energy, so they can't shield the nuke, which is 13,000 damage. Um, so we're going to show off the Goliath torpedo in the next game. Oh, wait, I want to make sure I have that equipped, actually. So let me go to my hangar. Trafalgar. The line of torpedo is equipped. Yep. All right, let's go. See you in a few. All right, here we are for the second portion of this episode. And we're going to try and play Destroyer again. And in fact, I'm going to lock in early because I don't want to... Um, I don't want to give my teammates the impression that I'm going to change who I am. No, I mean, maybe that's the wrong thing to do. Um, I'm hoping, I will change though, however, if uh, no one picks healers and stuff. Who am I kidding? I'm just going to play Destroyer. Whatever. Look, we won without healers last round. We can do it again, right? Uh, I think this is a space map. I don't remember exactly which map this is, but it might be the one. It's either the one with the, um, with the large sort of space station asteroid stuff. I think it might be that one. Or it's... A ground mission maybe I'm not sure so we have one healer two snipers three dreadnoughts and two destroyers not exactly an optimal team setup but things should be okay okay it's a desert mission well is this a desert give this guy a little love tap give him a speed boost uh, so what is this? This is a team deathmatch. So we want to uh, we want to make our way over here a little bit. There's a particular rock that's really useful to get to on this map, and it's right there ahead of me. And I want to get to it as soon as possible. To uh, as soon as possible to lock down the center of the map. Here we go, and I made it to it. I can turn off my speed boost. Now we're in position to uh, because this this rock conveys a lot of control uh, over the general scope of the map. How you get here matters though. Uh, I could make it over to that point. I want to make sure I point that ship out for my allies by pressing F on him. And then I want to shoot at him in general to make him feel unsafe about coming in. I'm going to reload my guns here. Uh, this guy is in a very precarious position so I'm actually going to move up because I want to get rid of this guy. I want to get this guy out of here. He's going in for an attack run. Ready my uh, flak guns. Enemy missiles incoming, Captain. Activating primary weapons, Captain. Get him out of here. Do a bit of damage to him. Turn off my speed boost. All right, so we're ready now to maybe dump a Goliath torpedo on someone. So we want to catch up with our teammates. Want to recover our health. Um, not our health, sorry, our energy. I'm going to take a bit of damage there. It's not a lot of damage. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's see if we can't get a few, just a few hits on him. See if we... It's hard. It's hard when they're that maneuverable. Let me get down below. We don't take too many hits. Enemy warheads locked on our position. Enemy warheads locked on our position. That means the missiles are coming for us. Not too scary, to be honest. What we do want to do, though, is we want to come around here. I want to stay behind this rock. Ooh, a juicy target. I'm going to drop a bit of damage on him. Captain, we've got a lock. Once his shield runs out, drop the torpedoes. So this should be a nuclear missile coming in now. Contact douche. So now i got 80 seconds. Going to do a module reboot to get that back online quicker. 26 seconds until we can nuke again. I'm gonna reload our main guns. We're not doing as good as we usually do. Uh, I'm not actually I'm not actually that much of a fan of the nuclear missile uh, build. It's not particularly something I enjoy. Ooh, he needs help. Where is that Corvette? 
see if I can't get a few little stray hits on him. No, reload, turn off the speed boost. Um, keep an eye on him. Make sure we shoot at this guy to dissuade him. He is getting pretty close. I want to do a little damage to him. Goliath locked on who? Over the core. I must have stroked my um, my cursor over a enemy ship. So this guy's out of position heavily now. Torpedoes locked and ready, Captain. And so just by maneuvering, I can win this fight. He does have his weapons active, but he's not. He wasn't paying attention correctly. And he fired a nuclear missile. Activate my shield. Took a bit of damage. It's not too bad. I'll just go down a bit. Whoa! Fire torpedoes. Fire Goliath missile. Alright, he should die from our missile. If it hit him, but it didn't. Use our full power to thrusters to get out of here. Get behind the rock and use the rock to heal up. Out of enemy line of sight. We can back up. We should start regenerating health soon. There's an enemy Corvette over there somewhere. Alright, he got killed. Excellent. Pretty happy about that. Uh, we're doing okay. We're not doing as good as we usually do. Like I said, I don't always do... I don't always do really well. I had a couple of exceptional games actually where I was doing amazing. Let's start. I'm gonna activate my weapon boost. The the main power of destroyers is in their main weapon, um, in my opinion. It can be a bit hard to get hits off sometimes though, because the uh, projectiles are quite slow. Oh, so, yeah, there we go. We we managed to do him in. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do a torpedo run um, with the Goliath torpedo because there is a big group of enemy ships over here, so I want to just drop a torpedo right on top of them. So let's speed boost, get prepared to drop the torpedo on top of them. All right, torpedo away. Nuclear missiles incoming. You should die from this. We got two kills. That's the that's the uh, that's the power of the. Um, that's the power of the nuke is you can hit people if they're all huddled together. You can do some serious damage. Now me and me and Mundak we managed to capture uh, capture the enemy's lines and do some serious damage to them. We got got to get another five kills to win this game because it's a team deathmatch. We're healing up because we're not uh, we're not in a fight right now. It looks like we could pick that guy up. He doesn't seem to be paying attention. So let's use a bit of a speed boost here. See if we can't get closer. Ooh, he's killing our healer. And the healer did not activate his shields quick enough. Which is a mistake. Get ready to fire the flak cannons at him. Did not quite get him with the flak cannons. He's a little bit too far away. There is a, uh, a dreadnought over here. But I should be able to drop a torpedo on him. Let's get ready to give him the sauce. He should be taking a lot of damage from us. He's going to be warping out of here. Where is he warping to over here? He died. That's fine. We need another another three kills to win the game. Do a speed boost here. Start just firing in this general area. Make sure we get some hits off on him. Nice. And uh, one more, two more kills and then we should win. Oh, enemy Corvette. Fire the nuke. Didn't quite manage to track him. He did speed boost away, but that's fine. Ooh, I'm getting hit, so I need to do speed boost down. Need to get down low, where he can't hit me. Shields up. Back up. You can play it safe here. Right, I'm not being hit, so I can turn off my shields. Nice, we won. The game well played. 
Uh, there we go. That was another game of uh, of Dreadnought. I'm, I, I really I really like this game. I enjoy it because it has a sort of satisfying element of it's player versus player and you're flying these really big ships but at the same time it's kind of like a three-dimensional tactical shooter where you have to use cover and positioning and you have abilities and you have loadouts and there's all this really cool stuff um i do have i do have complaints about the game um but you know i'm, I'm not going to focus on my complaints i think considering it's still like in active development um, and they're they're working on it as we speak you know um i'm not going to be too critical of it because it's um it's being improved every patch does make it better now they did make a couple of missteps you know they, they kind of screwed with progression and a lot of people weren't happy with that but you know long term that that stuff should all work itself out as they as they figure out what works in the game and what doesn't but other than that i want to thank you very much for watching there should be at least two more episodes whether or not we'll do more after that but there should be at least two more episodes of me playing this um so thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you want to see more episodes of this series or any other videos that I do, that you should subscribe to my channel to get notified when new videos come out. Also, if you want to directly support my channel, uh, you can leave a like on the video. That'll increase my rank on YouTube. It'll increase my visibility. It'll increase my um, just everything on YouTube. If you want to uh, give me feedback about your thoughts on the game or anything I did during this match, or if you want to just say anything to me, please leave a comment. Other than that, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.